Vermont, located in the northeastern United States, is a land of lush green hills, serene lakes, and charming small towns. Known as the Green Mountain State, Vermont spans over 24,000 square kilometers and is renowned for its rolling landscapes, covered bridges, and maple syrup. But beneath this picturesque surface lie ancient secrets waiting to be discovered. From fossilized remains of Ice Age mammals to mysterious stone structures, Vermont's ground holds stories that span thousands, even millions of years. Imagine unearthing remnants of prehistoric creatures, finding evidence of ancient human life, or stumbling upon strange geological formations shaped by millennia of natural forces. Vermont's discoveries span the worlds of archaeology, geology, paleontology, and beyond, each revealing new stories of the state's hidden past, from ancient tools left by early settlers to fossils that predate humanity. The soil of Vermont is rich with revelations. Have you ever wondered what ancient wonders lie beneath Vermont's historic farmlands and mountain ranges? Join us as we explore Vermont's most fascinating archaeological finds, geological phenomena, paleontological wonders, and strange discoveries. The Green Mountain State has far more to offer than meets the eye. Hidden Native American settlements beneath Vermont's fields and forests lie the remains of ancient Native American settlements, some dating back over 10,000 years. In recent years, archaeologists have uncovered evidence of early Algonquian tribes who lived off the land long before European settlers arrived. These sites often reveal tools, pottery, and structures that give us insights into their daily lives and survival strategies. One of the most exciting finds was near the Winooski River, where researchers discovered the remnants of a large settlement complete with stone tools and cooking pits. These tools, crafted from local chert and quartzite, reveal how skilled these early inhabitants were in using natural resources. But how did these communities survive Vermont's harsh winters? Evidence of food storage pits and preserved seeds indicate sophisticated planning and knowledge of the environment. Why are these discoveries important? They help us understand how Native Americans adapted to the region's changing climate and resources. The settlements also raise questions about how these communities interacted with each other and with the environment. By piecing together these stories, we gain a deeper appreciation of the resilience and ingenuity of Vermont's earliest residents, fossilized sea creatures in the mountains. You might not expect to find marine fossils in a landlocked state like Vermont, but the state's mountains hold secrets of an ancient sea that once covered the region. In recent years, fossil hunters have uncovered remains of prehistoric sea creatures, including trilobites, brachiopods, and corals. These fossils date back to the Cambrian and Ordovician periods over 400 million years ago. Imagine standing atop a Vermont mountain and holding a fossil of a creature that once swam in warm, shallow seas. How did these fossils end up here? The answer lies in the shifting of tectonic plates and the formation of the Appalachian Mountains. As ancient seabeds were pushed upward, they carried marine fossils with them preserving a snapshot of life from a time when Vermont was underwater. One particularly significant find was a large trilobite fossil discovered near Lake Champlain. This fossil, perfectly preserved in shale, reveals intricate details of the creature's exoskeleton. It raises questions about what other marine life might still be hidden beneath Vermont soil. These discoveries remind us that the state's landscape has undergone incredible transformations over millions of years, glacial boulders and strange ice age formations. During the last ice age, massive glaciers covered Vermont, shaping the land and leaving behind remarkable geological features. One of the most intriguing phenomena is the presence of massive glacial boulders, known as erratics, scattered across the state. These boulders were carried by glaciers from hundreds of miles away and deposited as the ice melted. Recently, Geologists have identified several unusual erratics, some weighing hundreds of tons. One such boulder in the Green Mountains has distinct grooves carved into it, likely caused by the grinding movement of ice and debris. How did these boulders travel such vast distances? 
The immense power of glaciers, moving slowly over thousands of years, explains this incredible feat. These formations offer clues to Vermont's glacial history and the forces that shaped its valleys, rivers, and mountains. By studying these boulders, scientists can map the movement of ancient glaciers and understand how the landscape evolved. These discoveries also inspire awe. Imagine the forces required to transport a boulder larger than a house. Ancient Buried Forests In the wetlands of Vermont, researchers have uncovered the remains of ancient forests buried under layers of sediment. These preserved trees date back thousands of years and provide a window into the state's environmental history. In one remarkable find, a buried forest near the Connecticut River revealed tree stumps roots, and even fallen logs, all remarkably intact. These buried forests tell a story of how Vermont's landscape has changed over millennia. They also offer evidence of past climate changes, including periods of severe flooding that led to the burial of these forests. Imagine walking through a modern-day marsh and knowing that beneath your feet, an ancient forest lies frozen in time. Why do these discoveries matter? They help scientists understand how ecosystems respond to natural disasters and climate shifts. These forests also challenge us to think about the resilience of nature and how life continues to adapt and evolve. Strange stone cairns and chambers scattered across Vermont's forests and hills are mysterious stone cairns and chambers that have puzzled historians for decades. Are these ancient Native American structures remnants of early colonial settlers, or something even older. Recently, several of these sites have been studied more closely, revealing intriguing details about their construction and purpose. One of the most famous sites is located in the town of South Woodstock, where a series of stone chambers align with the solstices. Could these be ancient astronomical observatories? Some researchers believe they were used for ceremonial purposes or to track the changing seasons. But who built them and why? These stone structures continue to spark debate and curiosity. Some theories suggest they are the work of early European explorers, while others point to Native American origins. Regardless of their creators, these stone formations add an air of mystery to Vermont's landscape. Meteorites found in farmlands Vermont's skies have witnessed cosmic events that have left their mark on the land. In recent years, several meteorites have been discovered in farmlands and fields, some weighing several pounds. These extraterrestrial rocks, traveling at thousands of miles per hour, offer a glimpse into the early solar system. One notable find occurred in Addison County, where a farmer discovered a metallic meteorite while plowing his field. Scientists determined it was an iron-nickel meteorite, likely originating from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. How often do such space rocks land in Vermont? While rare, these finds remind us that our planet is constantly interacting with the cosmos. Meteorite discoveries not only thrill scientists, but also spark the imagination. What other cosmic debris lies buried beneath Vermont's soil? Each discovery offers a tangible connection to the universe beyond our atmosphere. Fossils of prehistoric mammals. Beneath Vermont's rolling hills, paleontologists have discovered the fossilized remains of prehistoric mammals that roam the region after the Ice Age. These include mastodons, giant ground sloths, and even saber-toothed cats. These creatures lived in a vastly different Vermont, one filled with sprawling grasslands and dense forests. One of the most significant finds was a mastodon tooth discovered near Bari. This tooth, over 10,000 years old, belonged to a creature that resembled a modern elephant but was adapted for colder climates. What did these animals eat, and how did they survive the harsh environment? Fossil evidence suggests they grazed on grasses and shrubs, thriving in the post-glacial landscape. These fossils not only provide insights into ancient ecosystems, but also raise questions about why these massive creatures went extinct. Were they victims of climate change, hunting by early humans, or a combination of both? Vermont's prehistoric fossils continue to offer clues to these mysteries. Historical shipwrecks in Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain, with its deep cold waters, has preserved numerous shipwrecks dating back centuries. 
these sunken vessels offer a unique window into Vermont's maritime history, including trade, warfare, and transportation. In recent years, divers and historians have uncovered several well-preserved wrecks, including colonial-era schooners and steamboats. One remarkable find is the Spitfire, a Revolutionary War gunboat that sank in 1776. The ship remains remarkably intact, with cannons and other artifacts still in place. How did it sink? The Battle of Valcour Island saw intense fighting, and the Spitfire was scuttled to prevent capture by British forces. These shipwrecks not only tell stories of war and trade, but also highlight the challenges of life on the water. Each discovery adds to the rich tapestry of Vermont's history preserved beneath the waves. Submerged Villages of Vermont Beneath Vermont's tranquil lakes lie hidden remnants of entire villages, towns that were submerged due to dam constructions and water management projects in the early 20th century. These submerged villages, often referred to as ghost towns, offer a haunting glimpse into Vermont's history and the sacrifices made for progress. One such notable example is the village of Waterbury Center, flooded during the creation of the Waterbury Reservoir in the 1930s. As the reservoir was filled, homes, farms, schools, and even cemeteries disappeared beneath the water. When water levels dropped during dry seasons, remnants of stone foundations and old roadways occasionally become visible. Imagine walking along the reservoir's edge and seeing outlines of a forgotten street or an old bridge that once connected the heart of a bustling community. Why were these villages flooded? The need for better flood control and hydroelectric power drove these projects, but they came at a high cost for the families who had to abandon their homes. Divers and historians continue to explore these underwater sites finding artifacts like tools, bottles, and even intact structures. These submerged villages remind us of the ever-changing relationship between people and nature. They challenge us to consider the human impact of development and the stories that lie hidden beneath Vermont's lakes. Future discoveries await. Vermont is a state filled with natural beauty, history, and hidden wonders. From ancient Native American settlements to fossilized sea creatures and mysterious stone chambers, the Green Mountain State continues to reveal new stories with each discovery. What other secrets lie beneath its forests, mountains, and lakes? The next great find is out there, waiting for those with curiosity and a sense of adventure. Stay curious, and who knows what Vermont will reveal next? Leave a comment below and let us know which discovery amazed you the most. Do you think there are more prehistoric fossils, ancient artifacts, or hidden structures still waiting to be found? We'd love to hear your thoughts and theories. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more amazing discoveries and hidden wonders from around the world. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss our next adventure.